Well, we hear that Ron Paul run, won the straw poll at the CPAC this weekend. This Conservative Political Action Committee. Wow, what a bunch of great conservatives they are. What amazes me about that, guys, is this. Well, if they loved him so much this year, why didn't they discover him before the election in 2008? I've got one word for these guys. Well, actually two. Shun <laughs> sunshine conservatives. That's what they are. Sunshine conservatives. Just like the sunshine soldier, the sunshine patriot, these guys were all sunshine conservatives. I mean, what else can you say? They picked Ron Paul Finally, they realize that the tide is turned against them, that they better join or die. These Republicans, finally they see the light. Maybe Ron Paul is the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, some of us were not sunshine conservatives. We saw what was happening. Now, I personally am a libertarian, but I feel that, that I am a fiscal conservative, libertarian a lot of other things. You know, the way I look at life is, you know, you can do whatever you want, just don't hurt me, okay? You can do whatever you want in your backyard, your front yard, you want around, want around naked in your garage or in your backyard, fine. You know, don't bother my kids. That's the way I look at life. You want to smoke something in your backyard? Well, try to blow the smoke in the other direction. That's the way I look at it. But it amazes me that these guys, well, are all now t talking the tune of Ron Paul. And that's good. That's a good thing. They finally woken up and discovered him. They knew him all along. The problem was that they were afraid these are fearful people. These are not the people you want running your country. The people who have picked Ron Paul. You want the people who were in with Ron Paul last time around. Those are the people you want running your country. So yes, they're welcome to join the party. They're welcome. But they aren't getting the power back. So basically, from the standpoint of the sunshine conservatives they're gonna have to relinquish their power that's all I can say because we can't have that mixing in with when we get the White House back we can't have that mixing in we don't want to sully the waters we don't want their mud around we want the shining light of liberty the libertarian candidate And when he goes along and he, you know, hope Ron Paul makes it, you know, we'll, we'll be about 80, maybe. But I think he's got, you know, he's got what it takes. Uh, he comes from good seed, good stock. And, you know, he's a doctor. I'm sure he's taking care of himself. I hope he has. Looks like he has. So... Hopefully, I hope his mom and dad live to be about 102, because we need Ron Paul this next time around. That's all I can say about that. We definitely need Ron Paul. So when you see the people out there that are, hey, Ron Paul, he's our guy, ask them why he's their guy. Is it because they just want to win? Because we all want to win. Or is it because they really believe in him? Let's hope these are people who really believe, because that's the kind of people we need. People who are faithful and believe. So there you have it, people. My thoughts on Ron Paul winning the straw poll at the CPAC this past weekend.
because Ron Paul is a true crackerjack. Like every Cracker Jack, there's a surprise inside. <laughs> you vote for Rock Paul. Oh, Lord. And I'll give a shout out to a guy here in uh, who is working hard trying to make his earn his living in life. If you guys uh, need your floors done, you know, I, he's a real nice fella. And he's licensed, as you can see right here. And basically, he does installs of carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate residential, commercial, and he's here in Ventura County. Real nice guy. His name's John. So give John a call. He can certainly use the business. Um, he's a hard-working man. I met him this uh, past week, and he's a hard-working American. So give old John a call.